Hi right, YouTube, so I'm coming with another video today. I just wanted to show y'all like some of the stuff I went through with my audio installation as far as like running the wires, you know what I'm saying, my speakers coming in, stuff like that, man. It, it was an easy process and a hard process because, you know what I'm saying, no matter what you do, you're going to run into hiccups. But, you know what I'm saying, my guy Joe, uh, I met him on Facebook. He pretty much did my whole audio installation from building my box to running my wires to tuning my amp. He did everything. And he did it for a great price, too. So, anybody need uh, some audio work? Holla my man, Joe Richardson. Right, Hit him show. up on Facebook. Yeah, right now I'm rapping on all right. all right. I guarantee you he'll get you right, man. He do it all. Yeah, and he do it for a great price. Uh, the opposite side from the, the power side. All right. Yeah, a lot of people said uh, you get interference uh, through your RCs. Interference through your RCs. What, if it's on the same side of the power? Yeah, some people say so, too. I'm just doing this to be cautious. So YouTube, listen to me when I tell you this. Do not run your hot wire or your power cable and your RCAs on the same side of the car. Because that's how you get that whining sound. Like, every time you hit the gas, the sound just get louder. Like, I can't explain the sound. Everybody know what I'm talking about. If you ever, you know what I'm saying, did car audio, you know the sound I'm talking about. It's like a beep. And you step on the gas, it get louder. Do not run them on the same side of the car. Got the back seat taken out. YouTube right here, we had a hard time. Like, when I tell you, I done put so many radios in cars, and like, I don't know what it is about the old school radios, like, mm -hmm. the little tabs on the side, it's just some things yeah. impossible to get out. Animal. We had the hardest time getting this radio out. We even had the little, it's like a key that goes on the side of the radio. If you look at the uh -huh. left side of the radio, you can see a key sticking out. And you need two of them, you only have one, so we were trying to improvise and use something else to get it out, but it just wasn't coming out. So we finally got it out though, man. We was able to finish. Alright. Run the RCEAs and the remote. Double checks me wires. And um we can run them. Yeah, we can do the ground next and everything's done. Look what we got here. I wonder what it could be. All right, YouTube. So as you can see, my speakers finally came in and I was hyped. Like I've been waiting a whole, like three days. I ain't got no patience. I hate ordering stuff. And they finally came. And pretty much this was, this was the end result. I just... Did a little unboxing or whatever, pretty much. Let y'all get a look at um what I ordered, what they look like. It was like 3,000 watts. It ain't much. I ain't spent a lot of money on it. It was like 150 each. And yeah, that's about it. That's what they look like in the box. And this is a little clip that I'm playing. But remember to like, comment, subscribe, more videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.